Sorry, everyone. This is Amy. I'm trying to put up my uh, iPad here so that you guys can see what I'm doing and it just flipped backwards. Okay, so, all right, let's just get started before it actually flips over again. Okay, so I'm doing resin. Um, I've already mixed my um, two parts A and B. Um, I'm actually not using the Envirotex. I'm using, I'll show you, it's the Famo wood. It's really big and it's kind of complicated to measure. But since I've been doing this for such a long time, I know what I'm doing. So you mix the two parts and I'm doing, I've added, um, oh my god, what did I do with the tape? Okay, okay, I don't want to do it. I wrote it down. But anyways, I'll show you guys. I put some of this acrylic red and it makes a little bit this pink and another one that was a red one and I don't know what to do with it. Mixed it up in here. Sorry, my girls are being loud. And put my resin in there and I'm going to add some more glitter to it because it needs a little bit more. I would think it'll come out kind of weird, but you know what? I've done this kind before, so it usually comes out real nice. So I'm just going to mix it and you don't have to go too fast. You don't want to do it too fast because then you get bubbles. But since I'm adding the paint acrylic and stuff like that, it kind of like takes away the bubbles. I don't know how to explain it. It does. But you can also pull it out and you can see. And if you, It's kind of hard to see, but there's a lot of glitter in that. And I just want to make sure I get enough sparkle when I take them out. I'm actually going to be pouring them inside of this cute little um, mold that I got from Target a while back. If you guys seen one of my videos that I got. Oh my god, my nails are like just ripping off. I was just trying something out. I didn't even do it to this hand. Looks like crap <laughs> but they're little apples so we're going red and then we're doing some of these hearts also that I got at Target for a dollar so I'm gonna go ahead and pour you don't need to spray anything in these you just kind of pour it in I don't know if you guys can see it, I'm it right here yeah I can see me <laughs> all right so you want to make a flat surface I usually do this in a very air ventilated area dust free area you just like pour it in there. You don't want to overdo it. I don't know how many I'm going to do of this because I just did the one batch. Um, I don't know my exact measurements, but I know exactly what I normally pour in these things. But you can see as I'm pouring it, if you could see it, um, the little air bubbles that are left in it are just popping right out of it. I'm not going all the way. See how many I can get of this like that. Come on, pop. So my girls are my girls are real hyper. They just had dinner. They had dessert, and it was my fault giving them a cookie. So that sugar is in their body, and they're gonna take it out on each other in the dollies, and we'll be hearing all the mass hysteria noise. So yeah, I think I should have enough with this. Um, I don't like to fill them all the way. In fact, I learned that in the beginning when I first started doing resin. You don't fill it all the way up because what if you have a little mishap and you got a little bubble in the back and you want to cover it up? I like to seal them, so I add an extra coat of clear on the back. And you can put glitter on top of it when you're done or whatever. I think I did a pretty good job on that one. Alright, so I think I might have enough for the whole thing here. Come on. Oh, whoa. I won't put too much in that one. It's um, a lot of fun. Like I said, you want to do it in a very ventilated area because uh, it can get strong. I don't um, recommend doing it indoors. But it's just too cold outside, and I'm just being such a baby about it. So I don't want to be in the garage doing it because it's so cold. So yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like making cake. So I'm going to go back to some of my first few ones. Add a little bit more. You guys, stop. Oh my gosh. Hey, you guys, stop. Okay. And just kind of fill them all up. Just a little bit more. Alright. I think I got most of it. I'm going to put a little bit more on these ones. I'm going to want to use it all. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I think I'm doing a real good job. I think 
I think that's it. I think I'll leave it like that. Looks good. So I can't tilt it to show it to you because then everything will fall out. So they're kind of in there. You can see I kind of have a mess there. But, you know, don't freak out. You can just wipe that part off. That's okay. And it came out pretty good. So yeah. And, whoops, <laughs> I touched a little bit of it, but that's okay. It's, um, using the acrylic paint is actually kind of neat because it, it, you get this amazing color that you don't normally get in, like, a, like, a feeling, too. It's just, it's so pretty. So, um, you're gonna let this sit probably for, I like to let them sit for about three hours, and then I'll come back and I'll pour another clear coat or whatever else I'm gonna do to them. Um, I don't think I need to do anything else. I kind of want them that apple red color. I'm not going to even put any more glitter. I think that's perfect like that. I'll probably put a clear coat and that's it when it's done. But yeah, that's how that one looks. And then you let it sit for about, they say you're supposed to let it sit for 24 hours. So probably tomorrow, it's like going to be 6 o'clock tonight right now. I probably would probably play with them tomorrow morning. Probably like around 9 or 10. So, alright. So I still have a little bit left over. And I'm going to work a little bit of this into my... um. Heart mold. Baby, I'm recording right now. Can you find something to do? Okay, so I'm just going to fill this guy up and see how he comes out. Oh, he's going to be real pretty, especially for Valentine's Day, huh? It's kind of late for me to be doing it now because I'm going to be able to sell any of these before then. But hearts are always in all year long. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I should have a spatula for these days. You want to use um, little wooden sticks, popsicle sticks, if you can't afford to buy them and you have ice cream in your house. Just um, wash them really good and then dry them up before you end up using them. You don't want to use them while they're still wet because some of that food coloring or whatever was on your popsicle on the other end will end up getting into your stuff. And it's kind of gross. Hey, you guys! My goodness. Why my girls are so rowdy. I don't know if anyone else out there has kids. My goodness. Mine are just hyperactive. I don't get it. He didn't even have sugar in the cookie. It was like totally like shortbread. As <laughs> plain as possible. So there is one in there. It's hard to see oh, because it's like pink and it's like red and my lighting here is like weird. But it's in there. I tilted too much. Can you see it? Yeah, it's in there. So, um,. All right, but I'm probably going to make a whole bunch of other things. I don't want to make this video too long since I'm not really doing a whole lot of anything else. I got this little set, Big Lots. This was $2, I think, and these are eggs, so I'll be doing something with that. And then I also got bunny rabbits for Easter. Cute. Oh, I got this one. I was going to do something else. So they're, uh, I think these are blueberries or boysenberries. got this ult from Target a while ago. I don't remember where I got you from, but it's probably in one of my haul videos that I ended up coming home with this one. So this is a different shape heart one that I normally use a red one that I picked up from Wilton. And this one is really cool. And hopefully this doesn't knock over my iPad. I had a hold in it. Ah, okay. And little bunnies. Lots of bunnies. <laughs> so yeah, well definitely just something with those. And I definitely want to do these little tiny chicken thingies. Uh, so I'm going to do some of these today and see how they turn out. I don't know. They're kind of strange. Really weird. I don't even know if this is going to work. They're probably just going to be eggs. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, all right, everybody. Um, thank you, and I have a big mess to clean up. So, yeah, um, you can leave comments. Sweet comments, please. No bad comments because, you know, I wish I could have done a better video, but, like, I have no camera to really tape myself. So and please excuse the hair. I just had to put it up. I was cleaning. <laughs> So, all right, everybody. Thank you. Bye.